I hear the train coming. Anyway, I moved away from that dude with the drone. He was ignoring me 100%. I tried talking to him. He wanted no part of it, nothing to do with it. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, he put his drone away and walked away after I rode down here. But not before he pulled out his cell phone and made a video and put me in it. Which I don't mind. Go ahead. Oh, there he is. He's just hiding off to the side. Trying to figure out what do you do with his drone? Where did it go? Am I going to see this guy like the entire chase? Because I suspect this train is probably going to Pembine. Stop and go, that's legal. Yeah, I think he was planning on putting a drone up, but uh, when I showed up, I don't know. For some reason, he didn't want to. Fairly short train. Try to stay in front. I always like to see if people run it, you know? Gosh, that's loud. There's my eyes and my ears. Well, the sun hurts my eyes and that loud squeal absolutely hurt my ears. Anyway, you did hear me right on that chase today. I suspect they're going to Pembine and uh, we are too, so stick around. We got more of a chase video. Hey, where's Fred? They lost Fred, oh man. Well, this is a fun shot, isn't it? Everyone is always asking where the mega log haulers are. I'm always telling you, right behind Ace Hardware in Kingsford, Michigan. Yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get this shot. We'll go over to East King Street real quick and uh, get another shot. How's that? Oh boy, here we go. Beating a train, beating a train. tell you that was a uh, guy with the drone downtown there's about four or five other photographers all up and down the rail there so I suspect we'll be seeing them in Pembine because I'm almost sure this train is going to get all those full log cars in Pembine <laughs> Guys, stick around. We're going over to County O and then we're heading over to Pembine. Back to County O and the broken pole. I like these distance shots rather than getting right up close as they come across. So that's what we're going to get today a little back shot of the Escanaba and Lakefield Railroad on their southbound journey to Pembine, Wisconsin.
Pembine and I think almost every log car, if not all of them, are full. Looking through the trees there, they all look full. I was wondering why they brought ELS 501 and 502 here. If you recall that last video, ELS 402 and 503 could not pull this entire load up the hill. So I suspect that's what we're going to see today. Yeah, I really don't know if they're going to stop here first or not. I'm just going on what happened last time. I wonder if they'll keep the empties on the back and try to pull the entire load off, or did they already drop off the empties? Coming back for them. Or maybe they're just gonna continue on. Never know. and get out oh yeah I think I got lucky didn't I their empties are still on the back but they got two pretty powerful engines today I don't think they'll have much problem getting this off I don't think this will be too long of a video either because uh, like I said they have enough power now they should be able to pull this entire load off the line No sign of the drone guy yet. That's what we're gonna call him, the drone guy. He had a drone, but he never put it up. I can only guess it's because I showed up. Like I said, immediately after him putting the drone down, he filmed me. I just smiled, what, what can I do? I don't care if you watch me or not. Thought he'd be walking down there. I think he had to go get Fred. entire string off and uh, we'll see if they take all of them I hate the longer videos when they pull out one or two and tuck a few back in and pull up one or two and a few back in Yeah, he had to walk all the way down to the very end. Check all the cars, make sure the brakes, I guess, are off. 
make sure they're all connected. And then you had to walk all the way back up. Yeah, they've been filling this uh, all throughout Labor Day and Labor Day weekend. They just finished filling up the last three cars uh, yesterday, I believe. He'll pop the switch and I think he's gonna hop on the front of that. Or the end of that, however you wanna look at it. And they're gonna shove this entire load all the way through Pembine. Not messing around with those two engines. Silence. I don't know why, but I always just get silence. Not all employees are like that. I mean, a few actually do talk to me or acknowledge me. But you know what? I will keep talking to them. I will keep acknowledging them. Cause that's just who I am. Yeah, he didn't uh, jump on the other other side of that, so they might just be grabbing cars out of here. I'm not sure, or maybe he's got a couple of them uh, cut away and drop back in here. Looks like he might be uh, taking a, a view out, maybe. And it's away. I always love when they cut away cars like that. That's pretty cool. Effective. And I mean, the brakes on many of those cars must be on because uh, it stops. Which I guess is a good thing, huh?
barn. I was hoping they're gonna pull the whole line. Well, I guess they gotta leave some, huh? Yeah, I've often wondered about the brakes on the cars because it seems like the brakes are actually on many of the cars. And the engine is just pulling over them. All right, he's back there to one. Which means they're gonna leave three. So, like I said, they're gonna hook onto this train here. They're gonna shove the whole thing south, the direction I'm facing. And you see the empties on the back side. All of these empties right here. They'll go to the other side of the switch and shove them in. 501 will be leading for the northbound journey. And in the meantime, we'll jump down to Pemline and uh, see him coming back. have to sit here and do all watch all that stuff we know what they're gonna do eh anyway that's pretty cool we'll jump in the car and go over to Pembine well we're in Pembine but we're gonna go south a little bit further than we are now and watch them as they back the train up and I'm sure they're gonna grab a few more cars still no sign of drone guy That still has me puzzled. Like I said, there were five or six photographers, a guy with a drone. I absolutely would have thought they would have been here following this train, but nothing yet. They should give that guy a little air horn in his pocket or in his hand, you know what I'm saying? He'd like honk when they go across, that'd be cool. I guess I could zoom out a little bit, huh? Brakes. So as he goes walking that way, I'm sure right now the engineer is up front, probably disconnecting the train and sliding that uh, sliding that uh, empties up into the slot. The guy was just asking, "Is it okay?" I don't think he realized he was in my shot, but I don't care. You're all good, buddy. Well, maybe not. He 
he must not have wanted to uh, ride across that crossing. Yeah, I guess they'll slide this whole thing in and uh, go stick the empties in. And then we'll see if they grab any of these full cars out of here or not. And then we'll have a train going back north. Uh, he did disconnect up there. Yeah, he did disconnect. We're gonna grab some of these cars.
How you like all that silence in real time? Sometimes you don't realize how much time I edit out of videos. You don't even know. I thought I'd leave that one continuous shot for you. Oh yeah. He knew he was on, on film. Gave me a wave as he went by. That was a pretty cool horn. I wish I had that on my car, man. My wife already gave me permission to put train horns on this car. I sure would like to do that. Wouldn't that be cool? Contact. What do you think that is, a buffer car right there? You think they'll leave that on there just so they don't have wood hanging over the top of the engine? shoving the entire line five oh two sure does smoke a lot don't it What do you think, they'll stop and take a 30 minute break for lunch? Cautiously across the tracks with a train right there. <laughs> I mean, you know. You didn't see that gigantic blue locomotive coming up to the train tracks where you have a yield sign against? You just didn't notice that or what? I mean, did he think the train was going to stop for him? Hilarious, I'll tell you. Hilarious. We're gonna go grab those uh, empty log cars, pulp cars, and they're gonna slide them in to that siding before they come and grab their train and head back north. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying this video. Why don't you write in the comments right now where are you watching from? up to the train. Oh, they're stopping. I'm 
want to go up and get a different or a better spot to film. When they hook up their train, they will have to stop at the CN, and that's kind of a uphill grade. Should be pretty cool watching them take off from there. A little smoky there, eh? better smoke show than that. Anyway, pretty cool place right along Highway 141 in Pembine, Wisconsin. We'll jump back in the car and go back to County O. And eventually we'll make it back north through Iron Mountain, Michigan. I'm still curious, are we gonna run into the drone guy? And I wonder if he knew he was gonna be so famous on this video. Where are you, drone guy? Where are you? Did they put Fred on the back? They had a green Fred. Did they put him back here? Nope, just a flag. Back by the wood yard, I thought they were done and heading heading north, but uh, I noticed that the entire train stopped, so. Pretty funny just now, I saw Google Earth go by in a car, the Street View car. I was hanging out the window making making faces at them. I'll have to watch and see if if that makes the cut. Anyway, what are we doing here? It appears they're leaving that empty one. That orange empty one I thought maybe they had as a buffer. They've now tucked that back in there and he's securing the brakes on it. Darn fly on me. Get away from me, fly.
I'm just shocked they haven't put Fred on the back of the train. Nothing sliding out yet. We'll see what it looks like uh, at County O. I like to have at least one long video a week. I suspect this you'll probably be seeing on Sunday. Everybody loves a good long train video. All right, well, you think somebody will come and pick up this log right here? And you think, did it fall off a train or did it fall off a truck? Still no bread, just a flag. All right, let's jump on over to County O and wait for the train to get there. I don't know. It sure seems like it's moved. It's kind of precariously sitting now. Made it to County O.
I can rarely get back here in time before the train. I am totally surprised that I did. Looking at the uh, tie plate, well, the rail is uh, just coming up and down off of it. Not even connected to it, you see that? It's kind of hard with the uh, glare of the sun to see, but it's there. Anyway, we'll go over East King Street, film it. Probably go over to Iron Mountain and grab it one more time. Always an adventure. Always an adventure filming downtown Iron Mountain. All right. I don't guess we gotta wait until it stops, do we? Somebody must have dropped them off lunch at Alter. Because the train did stop there briefly. right here because this is where a lot of the cars like to rock back and forth. Let's see if we any, get any good rockers going today. Got some good rock, huh? Look at that one. Whoa. Whoa. Man. This one there's got a good momentum going too. Well, like I said, great place to watch trains rocking back and forth. All right, let's fly over to Iron Mountain and see how many crazy drivers we got today. Where's drone guy? I miss him. I miss that drone guy. I'm so sad that he wasn't able to put his drone into the air. I still don't know why he didn't, but I'm sorry, drone guy to ruin your entire day. One thing I don't understand is that drone guy, drone guy was standing right in that area. And he was gonna launch a drone with wires right above his head. I don't know if me showing up decided, or he decided not to, not to put the drone up, but 
Look at those people just skipping right across. I enjoy posting these videos to Facebook. There's a couple of different groups. One of them is a gossip group and man, those people like to talk about it. Now, yes, two blocks away. Most people are not going to sit here and wait, but they should at least stop and look first. That lady was looking like, oh my god, he got me on video. <laughs> There's been many accidents right here at this specific intersection, so it's always fun to watch. No one today, not even drone guy is here. like most of the logs uh, somebody just went out in front of them <laughs> how dumb yeah they won't honk in town unless somebody is like literally gonna go right out in front of them and then they will stop or honk I should say they will honk Granted, they'll stop if they hit you. That would have been an okay spot, I suppose. Right in front of the fire department. At least the fire truck wouldn't have had to gone too far, you know? Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video today. Big chase video. Three hours is what I spent today. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, make a comment below. Drone guy, where did you go? Why did you leave? Why didn't you put your drone up? That's what I want to know. And where's that video going to be? Because you got me in it. I want to see it. Have a great day, everybody.